Hi guys, hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing some brushes that I recently purchased that I use in my pencil drawings. First, I'm going to show you the brushes that I have been using. And you know what sent me on this search for some new brushes? I wanted some different sizes, um, you know, but maintain this soft feel that these gave me. But you know, when I was looking to purchase some of these, the cost was prohibitive. So after some searching, this is what I came up with. Um, decided to go with some makeup brushes. And the cost on these, they were a little over $17, I think. Um, so it comes out to a little over a dollar a brush. Whereas the other brushes that I'm using, you know, the, the true painting brushes, uh, those can range anywhere from 4 or $5 up to, you know, 10 or $15. Depends on the quality that you get. What I'm showing you here are the brushes on the smaller of the size range. Uh, they have a few different uh, points or designs, I guess you could say, on the tips. Um, clear down to this fine point. But they all have a pretty uh, soft but firm feel. And here are the ones on the larger end of the scale. Um, again, a few different uh, tip designs, um, some rounded, some flat, but all still, you know, a very soft feel. Um, pretty, f you know, not real firm, but firm enough, I think, that uh, they would work well in blending. So now I'll show you how they actually blend. So first I'm laying down some graphite with a 6B pencil, using a nice soft pencil to get a lot of graphite down, just to see how they blend. So I'm going to use one of the smaller ones and just uh, rub it in the graphite and then blend it out. And as you can see here, it produces a nice smooth texture. And you know, before I reviewed these brushes, I wanted to use them in a drawing. So here's a, a little example of a recent drawing that I completed. And I'm using the, the small brush to blend the background um, just to keep that, that uh, soft, smooth look. Like I said, this is a drawing that I recently completed. I did film the, the entire process, so I'll be posting a video of that uh, on my channel soon, so be on the lookout for that. So next up, I'll show you uh, some of the smaller brushes. This one's got a small chisel point on it but again like I said the the tips are soft they're just firm enough to where you can still you know do some light blending or almost even some light drawing with the brush so next is the one with the uh, the fine point tip and just like the chisel one, you can do some light blending or light drawing with this brush. It's pretty nice. So here's an example of using the chisel brush back in the uh, seashell drawing that I recently completed. And I'm just using it to do some really fine blending, a little bit of drawing to add some texture to the shell. Um, really like the way these brushes perform. And here's the uh, small fine point tip in action. Um, again, just like the chisel point, I'm just doing some refinement, shading, and drawing just to um, make the transitions in the shadows really smooth. Like I said, I wanted to try these out in, in one of my own drawings before I gave you guys a review. Um, just so I would have a you know pretty good understanding on how they performed and I'm I'm really happy with them so far and this drawing took about four hours to complete so they've got a, a lot of good use 
If you'd like to try these out for yourself, there is a link in the description below. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.